Hello and welcome to uh, this episode of Careering 101. My name is Serafina and today I have uh, someone of a very rare profession with me. Um, this is Jan van Elst. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. He is a perfumer and a perfumer is um, not very common. There's around 500 in the whole world. So this is very exciting. I'm sure we'll learn a lot. And um, let's get started. How did you get into the industry or the profession of being a perfumer? Yeah, it's a long story. Well, actually, it's not such a long story. What happened is that I, uh, uh, I wanted to be independent and I wanted to make money. Uh, and uh, so I had to find a job. And in the end, I came, uh, I came working with uh, that company called IFF in in the Netherlands. Uh, and um, I didn't realize what they were doing, but I I was uh, becoming a, a lab assistant in the in the research lab, uh, where I had to do all kinds of uh, uh, chemical. Uh, um, reactions and stuff like that, what you do normally in a lab. And, uh, but then I thought, you know, I got bored after a certain amount of, a uh, certain period of time. And uh, I thought, well, what the hell what I'm doing here? Uh, what are you doing with all those ingredients, what they are uh, coming out of those uh, uh, machines, more or less? And then I found out that this was all about perfumery. And then I set my call, this is what I want to do. Uh, I had no uh, intention of before of, of doing this. Uh, my ultimate dream was to become a telegraphist on sea, at sea. Uh, but the education I needed for that was not so, um, available uh, and uh, it, that was also a private education and cost a lot of money. Uh, there was no money at that time. So I found this job and I worked my way in this company to become a perfumer. Okay, so you stayed in this company for a very long period of time, is that correct? That is correct. I did all kinds of, uh, uh, all kinds of jobs over there. Uh, first of all, the uh, research assistant on the lab uh, uh, and uh, at night studying chemistry to, uh, to get further and further. Uh, after that, I uh, moved to an um, uh, application lab where a lot of uh, 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 creams and soaps and aerosols were being prepared for for testing. After that, I went to uh, quality control. That means that all the materials that come in and are being produced by the company uh, are being controlled by nose. And in this way, it was very fi fine for me because I learned all the materials. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the meantime, after working hours, I could um, I had my own, co collected my own ingredients and started to slowly uh, mix ingredients to perfumes. And uh, of course I, I, I did not have a clue, so it was not very nice what I all made. <laughs> but there was a chief perfumer and saw what I was doing and understood that I was highly interested in this uh, profession. And so my greatest uh, luck was that he said, okay, come to me, you will be my, uh, my, your, my student. And uh, so I was for a long period of time his student to become a perfumer. What has been the biggest challenge of being a perfumer? That you keep your creativity. That is the biggest challenge. Uh, that is very true because the more, the, the more you work, the more experience you get and the more knowledge you obtain. But uh, knowledge is a little bit the, the enemy of creativity. So you have to be very alert that you are not just 
uh, working on your routine. So you have to keep up your creativity uh, by doing uh, uh, completely different things mm -hmm. and not say, okay, I've done this before, I can look at it, and uh, so I'll continue uh, with my normal work. You have to keep up uh, the creativity. At the end of your career of being a perfumer, you decided to start a new project. Can you tell us a little more about this? Uh, yeah, um, the company I worked for uh, decided that there are uh, not enough perfumers in the world and that they could not get uh, too good uh, quality uh, of perfumers to continue as uh, to continue their fragrance business. And uh, they asked me whether I would set up a, uh, an, a sort of a perfumers academy and uh, uh, in order to, to fulfill the, the needs of uh, perf future perfumers. And um, it took me two years to, to, to build all the uh, uh, necessary steps uh, for this school. And uh, that, um, and in the end I presented it to the top management and they approved uh, the plan. Finally, what advice would you give to those who are starting on their career now? Try, uh, uh, try uh, to find the good motivation and also keep your creativity up. The, the, the most important thing is that you are enthusiastic about your job uh, and that you don't lose that uh, uh, passion for it. The, all the passion and the attention you will uh, 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 develop for your, for your uh, skills is the most important thing to, uh, to become uh, successful. Well, Jan, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Um, it was very nice to do this. <laughs> thank no you. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you guys learned something or maybe even discovered a new profession and maybe some of you um, will be interested in learning more about this. So um, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And I will see you in the next interview.